Hey, how you doing? This is uh, Rich Flores from Lathe Cut Records. I want to show you uh, what we're actually going to do. We're going to take a, a square piece of polycarbonate like this, and we're going to um, we're going to do some music. We're going to cut uh, from the Audacity uh, from the PC, and we're going to uh, take off these plastic coatings first, and we're going to we're going to cut a lathe cut, which is basically a polycarbonate plastic. Now, you could, you could, you have to peel the, the back of this. It'll get a little action here. I'm just trying to, okay, here we go. By the way, this is not macro line, okay? This is uh, cheapy cheapy that I use for testing. It's flexible, but we have, we have thicker ones. Okay, we just put it on the lathe, just like that. And since it's not a vacuum uh, scully, and we start out with a square sheet, and then afterwards, once the record is done, then we trim off the excess and we make it into a round disc. But just, you know, just for the demonstration purposes anyway. So what we do is, we gotta line it up. When cutting a square piece of polycarbonate, you don't, wanna, you don't want your stylus to, to hit the edge, otherwise you're going to damage your, your, your stylus. Okay, so this is good enough. This is not going to be enough polycarbonate, but this is not going to be enough to, to finish the whole song, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fade it out at the end. Okay, first things, cutter head's engaged, and we drop the cutter head. We're going to take a little look here in the microscope. Make sure that uh, we're cutting. Okay. Adjust the, uh, the advanced ball. Okay, that now as you can see, it's putting down a groove. And I'll just spiral it out to make the cut. And we're going to hit the music. Everything is already queued up. On the compressor limiters, I have it set to minimum. The levels, I had done this prior to this video anyway. And this big machine here reminds me of, of the sound scriber that I used to have when I was 17 years old. We're bossing and bossing, so there's no need to use the vacuum. Yeah, I'll let you take a look. So right now we're cutting, or we're embossing actually, embossing at 250 lines per inch at, uh, at 33 and a third, you know. Personally, I prefer to use 45, but on something like this, you know, just for time's sake. No EQ, everything is going straight through off the computer through your uh, compressor amplifiers, cutter head equalization, because that West Trex does need it, and that's it. This is the way I used to do it 40 years ago at Variety Recording Studios with Fred Vargas, may he rest in peace. Uh, he used the same uh, compressors, the uh, Teletronics LA-2s.
one thing with embossing, you all the lathe tape cutters out there, if you're trying to learn how to emboss, you can't cut any more than four mils. Otherwise, you're gonna get background noise. So, if you, if you do it at 250 lines per inch and you have a 50-50 land ratio, you should be okay when embossing. So, we're gonna fade this out. I'm gonna do a manual fade. I can fade it, cut it head off. That's it, and it's done. Okay. And let's see. Uh, I just want to look at this. Did I fuck it up? Okay, no, I don't think so. All right, let's take a listen to this thing. All right. Let's take a listen. Car? No, let it roll. We just want to check for sound. It's quiet. Get a little volume. Okay. That was the leading groove that I did as a test cut. So whenever you do a square polycarbonate, you're going to trim off the test cut that you did on the outside diameter, and all you get is the leading. And that's the playback right here. I tell you, man, I'm really happy with the way the embossing. So, it's gonna happen. I haven't set the anti skating right, but too much level. That's what happens when you record polycarbonate louder. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it on another different turntable. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna use this one. Okay, let's try.
kid. You know. But that's why that's why you can't you can't record these things loud like a regular 45. But something like this, if it's skipped over here, you're not gonna get it. I'm not gonna I'll do it over. But it happens. Do polycarbonates do skip a lot easier than a cut lacquer. So uh, a lot of the times the bands and the new generation that get these polycarbonates, you know what they do with the record? They hang it up on the wall like that and yeah, I have a record, okay? Uh, they don't really play them, you know? But I'll tell you one thing about this. How many people do you know own turntables? Nobody around here has, but either that's as a novelty, as a polycarbonate, great for a promotional. If I do one for you, and if it does skip, you know what happens? I'll toss it in the garbage and I'll do it over. Because I will not like to give anything that doesn't work to one of my clients. Uh, by the way, there was some dude out there, I don't want to mention his name. He said, uh, embossed lathe cuts done in mono sound hollow and have, a, uh, have background noise. Or should I say, he said that they sound hollow and noisy. Well, you know what? He's full of it because that's the proof is in the pudding. You just heard it the way it sounds. It doesn't sound hollow and it doesn't sound noisy. Okay, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to trim this. Oh, by the way, if you need a lacquer, we cut it in stereo. Lathe cut records embossed on polycarbonate cannot be recorded in stereo. It just will not emboss properly. This is Rich Flores from Lathe Cut Records, man, saying... Happy embossing, man.